Hey everyone, Cody here. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to add a browser notification to your website. So it's a little thing, a little box that appears in the corner, and it usually asks if you'd like to subscribe to the browser notification. And the nice thing about these is if your visitor is visiting maybe walmart.com, maybe amazon.com, or whatever they're doing, and you send out a new notification, they're going to get a new notification pop-up wherever their website they're visiting. So they don't have to be on your website in order for this to work. So on the Builder All homepage, you can scroll down to wherever you see the browser notification rocks. So you can click enter. Or if you don't have it installed yet, you can go to apps, email and engagement, all the way down to browser notifications. All right, as you can see, we don't have anything over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Cheetah website builder Click enter. Okay, now we're going to choose one of our websites. So I'm going to go over here over our car dealer website. Click on the settings. And we'll go to settings. All right. On the left hand area down here, we're going to go to browser notifications and enable. And what we want to do is we want to click the confirm. Make sure this is check blue. Confirm. See that success symbol right there? Go ahead and save. Republish. And now let's go to this corner and on the settings. We're going to go to website. And as you can see, it pops up the corner. Uh, this right here is the website domain name and then your message and they can choose to allow or block. And of course, allowing is uh, them subscribing to your browser notification and blocking means they don't want to see it again, so. After we do this, we go down to our left-hand uh, side again, go down to send notification. Okay, and we come to this page again. And uh, if, I just deleted it, but if you see it, it would have been right here. And you can go ahead and create campaigns or you can create your own. You can choose to have it on a Chia website or another website. If you choose a Chia website, it'll just say, hey, go in and check your settings and make sure it's set. If you do other website, you're going to put the website name and then the URL. And then you're going to be asked to put in a code on your website. So let's go ahead and refresh this. Site successfully republished. And here we are, our car detailing website. This is our domain name. And we can go in here and edit the name, edit the website, and get our code to put it in a non builder website. You see our subscribers. As you can see, there's none there because I didn't confirm. And push notifications, you can set your, where you want your notifications to be sent to. So only for users with languages like English or Spanish or French or what country. So the United States, Great Britain, and so on. You can do title, your title name. Uh, it'll show up on the, the top. Your bottle, body, which goes underneath the title. You can choose your icon or your website uh, logo. And then image, I wouldn't worry about because you know only Chrome and Opera, um, they, they're the only ones that uh, are able to use it. So that's all about it. And you, uh, you can see how many subscribers you have in here. You can keep track, you can send uh, notifications to people, and it just really helps your marketing efforts. So I appreciate you watching, and please look forward to the more videos coming out uh, shortly. Thanks so much for watching, and if you'd like a 14-day trial to build all, I'll leave a link down in the description down below. Thanks for watching, take care, have a great day.